soil is so much more than just dirt. We all depend on soil as the lifeblood of agriculture. And people around the world, from small backyard gardeners to large industrial farmers, rely on soil to make a living. In fact, most terrestrial ecosystems rely on soil as the giver of life. Let's learn more about this vital stuff, soil. Soil is the topmost layer of earth, lying on top of a layer of bedrock. Soil is often black or dark brown to red, comprised of mixture of organic remains, clay and rock particles. Most soils support a thriving community of microorganisms and invertebrates aiding the breakdown of organic matter in which plants grow. There are many types of soils throughout the world. Different regions and ecosystems have characteristic soils. Scientists have classified soil types according to their characteristics. The soil orders differ in color, texture, nutrient content, water holding capacity, and soil biota. Oxisols, one of the soil orders, typically develop along the tropical and subtropical latitudes including rainforests in South America and Africa. Aridosols develop in very dry environments, notably the deserts of the United States Southwest, North Africa, and Western Australia. All soil formation begins with the breakdown of rock or parent material over time. Rocks can be broken down by mechanical weathering, such as frost or rain, or cycles of heating and cooling. Fragments of rocks are often transported by wind, ice, or water. Soils form where the products of weathering and erosion collect. Alluvial soils form at the mouths of rivers where soil is deposited by water. As the current slows, suspended solids settle, and when the water recedes, it leaves behind a mixture of stones and silt, which can be colonized by plants and animals. Aeolian soils, like these dunes, are created by wind depositing well-sorted particles of sand. Aeolian soils can form anywhere that drifting particles might collect, such as along beach areas. The parent material determines the chemical composition, properties, and nutrient content of soils. For example, soil formed from a parent rock of limestone will be rich in calcium carbonate, be basic, and have a high pH. Mollusols are created from limestone and commonly support grassland environments, such as savanna ecosystems. Soils created from the parent rock of volcanic eruptions are called andesols, Volcanic ash contains all the minerals plants need to grow, so andesols are typically some of the most fertile soils on the planet. As the parent material weathers, particle size decreases. The particle size of the soil determines its ability to retain and drain water. Since plants depend on water, soil particle size strongly influences the soil's ability to support plant life. Clay soils have small particles and drain slowly. Sandy soils have larger particles and drain quickly. The amount of water a soil retains in turn helps determine its chemical properties and temperature. The specific amount of water in a soil at a given time is affected by two soil forming factors, climate and the topography. Climate directly determines the temperature and water content of soil throughout the year. Exposure to the sun will increase soil temperatures and may speed up chemical and biological processes that occur in them. Grassland soils in a prairie or savanna are relatively dry because of the lack of rain. Soils in an equatorial or boreal climate are usually moist because of the wetter climate. Topography refers to the variation of the landscape. The topography of a region can also determine how much water is present in a soil. Soils on slopes tend to be well-drained. Soils in hollows or low-lying areas are wetter and can become waterlogged and anaerobic. Time is perhaps the most important factor determining the nature of a soil. Over time, parent materials weather into smaller and smaller particles. Various organisms colonize and live on and in the soil. As soils develop, they continue to be altered by a succession of different organisms, the biota that calls the soil home. The biota affects soil formation through the addition and recycling of organic matter, alteration of its biochemical properties, and the retention of nutrients. Humans are a part of the biota that alter soil as well. Humans clear cut forests, plant crops, use fertilizers and pesticides. All of these practices disturb the soil, altering its chemical makeup and making it less fertile. We all depend on soil, a vital natural resource. 
Agricultural companies, farmers, developers, and legislators must work together to understand the risk of losing soil and to improve the agricultural practices needed to protect it.